Hey guys, this is Max, bringing you episode 4. The time was 5am. Nep and I were nearing our 12 hour gaming session and it was taking its toll. In truth, we'd yet to experience any serious loss. Our time on the server has been very successful. When we logged in we had sticks and stones and now, a starter base and a main base later, all of our chests were full. Our biggest struggle was finding where to put all the loot. That was until... Jesus, oh my god, he's, a he's eating ass. What? Is that, who's that? I hit him. He ate my ass. I hit him twice, he's running. He just grabbed the AK and legged it. I don't have, I have bag timer. Massive, you have to kill him. I don't I don't, I don't even know where he is, man. Fuck it. Oh, he killed me as well. Fuck off. No way. Yeah, he's just on top of the base. I couldn't even see him. Well, fuck the alert. Fuck the AK. We lost. I don't really care. He, he was just DBing. You, I should have known. Just no need to push him. What? Say what you will about the DB. You can even call me and Nep trash for not killing this guy. I won't disagree with you, mistakes were made, and thus, a petty back and forth of door camping commenced. He's still outside, he's running off on a horse. This guy lives right next to us. Oh, I really? found his base, yeah, I found his base. Is, is it the metal one? Uh, it's like half metal, half stone. He's out there again! He's gonna loot me, please just loot, uh, close the door. Yeah, I managed to shut one door, don't see him. Oh yeah. I'm dead. Killed him, killed him. Nice, help me up. What's his name? Little Cancer Lover, yeah. Yeah. Exactly what he is. Uh, let's go camp his door. Oh, custom. Got the custom back. Oh. After reclaiming what short victory we could, an absolutely broken nep wouldn't even leave the base. The loss of an AK and an LR weighed heavily, killing what last morale we had left, and only the thought of the inevitable offline raid kept our fatigue in check. Like a bad taste in your mouth. I've been here before too many times. Our base was a bunker, built to withstand offline raids at the loss of having it very door campable. You could even blame the base design, as when you're coming out of a bunker, you've got no idea if there's people on the base or hiding behind a corner, but its strengths offline outweighed its shortcomings when we're online. With every precaution met, the plan was in place, and if we weren't going to get the chance to defend our base, we didn't want anyone getting anything good out of us. We are going to get raided if we log off, and we're going to lose everything, which fucking sucks. Yeah, we're 100% going to get offline. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you raid. Odds that they're outside camping right now, and they they probably know what we're doing, but not gonna say anything. <laughs> I just love how many stashes we're doing. I bet they're gonna be fuming when they raid, and there's nothing here for them. I just hope they don't grief it, so we can actually get this loot back. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. That's what I like to see. Now we just gotta seal it with a little bit of stone and wood. Literally, a solid 80% of our base loot is, <laughs> is in that area there. Yeah. Yeah, they're just out there. Called it. Uh, did you open the door? Yeah. Close the door, close the door. That's yeah, all I care it. about. Yeah, you got it nice. We're going off. You enjoy the... You enjoy the offline raid, bro. I don't like this guy. All he's done is door camp. He keeps coming over and trash talking. He's a perfect example of what a gamer shouldn't be. And there's just no need. We lost the battle, but if we're goaded into fighting the war now on his terms, we're going to lose a lot more gear. Ensuring virtually everything of value was hidden amongst these eight stashes under our base, leaving just enough to make it convincing to a raider. All we could do now was hope. Yeah. Come on. Mama told me one day I'm gonna grow up big and I'm gonna be a king. And my papa told me it's okay to say what shit hurts. Don't forget your dreams because they'll get you through this. Boy, that was a long time before the intro, eh?
Right, I just loaded in and furnaces are going. We're getting shot at. We haven't been raided. Did you get the loot back out? No. Oh, sweet, yeah, we've got charcoal. Yes, yes, we can make ammo. Need more ammo? <laughs> I don't have any more ammo. Give me your tummy, give me your tummy. Oh, you bitch, fuck you. What the fuck do you mean? It left? It left and then blew up. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, T15. That's some bullshit. I'm behind you. Got them both. Fucking hell. Nice. Fucking DBs out there. Door camping, mate. All the time, dude. Holy shit. What is this world? That is such a joke, though. What? The helicopter shouldn't randomly leave. Yeah, that's a little bit annoying. Oh, no. I see a naked on it. Mate, that guy took it down with a rock. I bet you. Oh, no. I see them on the hill. Full gear. On the other side, yeah? Yeah. Looking at the naked. I'm going to climb up the mountain to kill him. I see the naked, yeah. Shoot the naked, shoot the naked. Hit him once. Guys, it's hard to hit with a freaking iron sight. Is yeah. that you just climbed up on the other side, yeah? Try to come over, I see him. He's spraying me with a silenced weapon, I don't know what it is. I'm getting sprayed from another silenced weapon. I'm going for the heli loot. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna push across to you. Pistol ammo, 556. Five, Camera. Incendiary rockets and shit rockets, we need that. I see him, I see him, he's close he's close to me ish. Okay, okay, I'll push the cross. I'm just running, pretending to run away, then I'm running up. I'm coming up. I hear you. Just be ready, just look south. Yeah, I'm looking south, southeast. I'm dead! From where? I don't know! Oh under us! Oh he's coming up! Just get ready. Yeah, I hear him. I'm getting you up. Really? Yeah, yeah, I'm getting you up. Three, two, one. You're up. Killed him. You killed him? Yep. Okay, one more. This guy just had a bolty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take his gear set. I need, I, I need his gear set. Okay. Let's running. just leave. Let's just leave. Yep. Yeah, no, this is mass profit. That's a good start. Does he live over on that island? If he does. That went really well. I I thought we might get fucked there. So we've got an M249. Yeah. You're going to be fucking happy, aren't you? <laughs> Alright, looks clear. Yeah, it's clear. Oh, <laughs> our front door is fucking low. Yeah. We began to find our feet again. The door campers first thing in the morning brought that bad taste back just enough for us to play a little more cautiously than we normally would. Yeah, you eat, you fat shit. You eat that fucking raw bear meat. My god. <laughs> Considering we put all of our good loot under the base yesterday in case we got offlined, we've got a lot of loot again. <laughs> oh, shit. You see him? I'm really low. Go on, go on. Nice. Door camper. His name is legit door camper. <laughs> Oh shit, there's a player behind me. Coming. What gun? Uh, I think it was just the compound, but it was oh. tagged in. Oh, let me just let me just have a have a good look at it. Oh yeah. Mmm. <laughs> now that that's a gun. That is a gun. But we quickly found ourselves very overgeared for the competition that are living in our area. Not being offlined and a few small victories later, plus let's not forget the M249, installed a brand of confidence in us. All we had to do now was get all of our loot out of hiding and put it to some good use. After crafting some high velocity rockets, I covered Nep while he took down Bradley, and let's just say we have a very messy 10 minutes. Are you fucking my asshole right now? The bullet kill- okay, can you just grab my body? You trash, dude. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I have to do everything around here. Yep, someone oh. else just jumped me. 
Are you dead? Oh, yep. for fuck. Right. We got a ladder hatch. Nice. C4, double armor door. Nice. Loads of other good shit. Nice. SMG, another ladder hatch. Right, I'm looting this guy's Tommy. Yep. Alright, I'm getting shot at by a silencer. Okay, dude, serious profit, even though we lost an AK and a Bolty and all that. Uh, I got we the lost two AKs. Two AKs, and I lost the Bolty with a with a four times on it, but I found a four times as well. Okay. We've just got C4, armored door, ladder hatch, 22 tech trash, and two computers. Oh, I mean, definitely lost loot there, but whatever. Yeah. Playing the game, and it still got C4 double armored door, it's definitely worth that. Is going to be about it for this episode. The next one should be out in a few days. Let me know down below what do you think? Did we lose gear overall this episode, or did we gain it? The thing with losing an AK in my head is yeah, it's 50 HQM, but we've got the blueprint, we can just make more. It doesn't hurt as much as losing an LR. We don't have C4, but with high velocities, we can get explosives, so we can now craft C4 and the double armoured door is going to be a big improvement over the garage doors. So I think it's quite balanced all in all. We gained some good utilitarian things, but lost some weapons. I made a patron-only Minecraft server a few months ago and no one's been playing on it. It's a FTB Lite mod pack, which is my personal favourite. So if that sounds like something you'd like, check out the other rewards for becoming a patron and sign up at your leisure. As always, a huge thank you to all of my current patrons who keep a roof over my head and make these videos possible. I'll see you all in the next one. And as always, have fun guys.